I spend over 10 to 12 hours in front of my laptop every single day, both with my main job and this YouTube channel. So obviously it started affecting my neck and back. So I decided to get a standing desk and it has been a game changer. Apart from the ergonomic benefits, I also found that standing desks improve my focus which helps with deep work. Most standing desks need to be assembled by yourself. Towards the end of the video, I do show an assembly of the standing desk. Let's take a look at some of the key things to look for when purchasing a standing desk. The first is whether you want manual or motorized height adjustment. If you're going to use the desk in continuous standing position, you can get either a fixed standing desk or manual standing desk. However, if you plan to switch between sitting and standing multiple times in a day, then you should consider a motorized adjustable standing desk. This video is going to focus on motorized standing desks only. The second thing to consider is the number of motors. A common question regarding motorized height adjustable standing desks are should you go with a single motor or a dual motor? If your equipment is heavier, upwards of 80 to 85 kgs, you need to go with a dual motor, which is smoother in operation and silent. Otherwise, a single motor standing desk is sufficient for you. Single motor standing desks are cheaper than dual motor standing desks. Amongst the standing desks compared, Sunon, Jin and Ergo you have a model of dual motors. The rest are all single motors. The next question is whether you should get a two-stage or a three-stage standing desk. This really refers to the number of segments in the legs of the standing desk. For standing desks that support height of more than 50 inches, it is normally three-stage to give the desk more stability at its maximum height. For the remaining, it is generally two-stage. Now, if you are up to 5 feet 10 inches in height, a two-stage is sufficient for you. Taller people should get a standing desk above 50 inches and therefore should go for a three-stage. The same models of standing desks from Jin and Ergo U that have dual motors have a three-stage height adjustment. Now, let's talk about the height supported by these standing desks. Ergonomically, your elbow should be in line with the standing desk when standing. Most standing desks available in the market support up to 47 to 48 inches which should be sufficient for people up to 5 feet 10 inches. The dual motor models of Jin and Ergo U support a height of up to 50 inches which is ideal for taller people. Speaking about height, whether you're using a standing desk or a regular desk, if you place your laptop directly on the desk, your neck is perpetually at an angle which is not good for your neck and back. I use this desk mat from Daily Objects which helps to provide the necessary elevation to the laptop so that the laptop screen is now at eye level. It also has a felt mat on the side which helps to glide the mouse smoothly and a nice little band on the side as well to place your pen or apple pencil. It can also be folded and taken along with you to set up your workspace wherever you decide to work. The next aspect to consider is the dimensions and the weighted supports. We need to ensure the table has enough space and can hold enough weight to accommodate your work essentials such as your computer, monitor, keyboard and any other additional accessories that you need. If you use multiple monitors or a large monitor or tend to keep multiple items on your desk, you need a standing desk that can hold the maximum amount of weight and is broader. Most models reviewed support between 80 to 120 kgs. Amongst the standing desks compared, the same models that have dual motors from Sunon, Jin and Ergo U support a higher weight. Rest support 80 kgs. From a width point of view, there are generally two options. 1200 mm or 1500 mm in width. The dual motor models from Jin and Ergo U have to have both these variants. In addition, Green Soul Trigger has a 62 inch width option as well, which is fairly wide. The next key capability is the memory of the height to be stored. I find this feature extremely useful. You can set your sitting height and your standing height. So every time you need to make the switch, it is one single button. Most electric standing desks I've reviewed have this capability. Having two memory functions is ideal if only one person is using the desk. But if you have more people using the desk, it would be better to get at least four memory functions. The one I'm using has only three, which is in my opinion odd, but it is not material as I'm the only one using it. Except one model of Jin, all others have three memory presets. Now let's talk about aesthetics. While most brands of standing desks have many color options for the tabletop, 
If you're particular about the color of your tabletop matching your room colors, some brands will only give you the frame. Amongst the brands compared, Jin and Ergo U give you the option of frame only. You can then have your carpenter make a tabletop for the frame and attach it in the same way that you would attach the brand provided tabletops. I purchased the one that was closest to the dark wood color in my room. From a pricing point of view, single motor standing desks are priced lower than dual motor standing desks. The standing desks vary between 20,000 and 40,000 depending on the tabletop size, the motors, the stages and the height supported. Warranty typically varies between 2 and 3 years, but service for most brands has been just okay. I always recommend you to check with the brand service center and check for serviceability in your area before purchasing. Standing desks are fairly new in the country, so long-term usability and serv serviceability of the ones available online is still unknown. Based on all of these parameters, my recommendations for the best standing desk in India are as follows. If you will not load your standing desk more than 80 kgs and you are up to 5 feet 10 inches in height only, then this green sole trigger single motor two stage standing desk is sufficient for you. At a price of around 22,000 with a 3 year warranty on the motor, this gives a fairly large tabletop 62 inches by 29 inches and supports height adjustment between 29 inches and 47 inches. Some additional value added capabilities in this are that it comes with a cup holder and a headphone holder on the side and also has a sedentary alarm to remind you to move. If you are a tall person above 5 feet 10 inches or will load your standing desk more than 80 kgs with multiple monitors or gaming equipment, I recommend the Ergo U 3 stage standing desk. At a price of around 32,500, it comes with a 2 year warranty. It supports up to 120 kgs, has height adjustment up to 50.3 inches, one of the highest available and is available in a 1200mm and a 1500mm width option. If you are particular about aesthetics to match your room, you can also purchase only the frame and get the tabletop made by your carpenter. Amongst the models compared, based on the reviews, Ergo U seems to have a better service than the others. If you're looking for a dual motor standing desk at a budget, I then recommend the Sunon standing desk at a price of around 26,000. It offers all the capabilities that the more expensive brands offer, a dual motor and a 100 kg weight support. It supports a maximum height of 47 inches. Now let's take a look at the unboxing and how easy it is to assemble this. The instructions are fairly straightforward in the manual and can be done very easily by yourself at home. If you like this video, you may want to watch this video next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.